Hello, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Sean's Two Cents here at the River Great PWG Show in Reseda, California. DD Ford is headed. Look who I have. Speed by Mike Bailey. Hello, sir. How you doing, my man? I'm good. I'm good. I'm pretty cold. And I do <laughs> shiver a lot, so I might be shivering throughout the whole thing, which may make it very awkward. But I blame the lack of hot tub for my shiver. Oh, oh well. Well, you're from the Great White North, man. This yeah. must be like nothing to you, man. It, it's, it, I get that all the time. Uh, yeah. No, you know, cold is just cold. It's fucking cold, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I hate it when it's when it's minus 40 up in, in Quebec, and I, I hate it when it's this cold here. I just it's warm all the time. So definitely PWG tonight, DDT4. You got a slight change in plans. It's card something right. to change. You got put in with Matt Slidell, who I interviewed last show. Yeah. That's right. Yes, pretty interesting. A nice little carry on. Yeah, which is really cool because yeah. he's like one of the people. Probably not child of the idol, but he's definitely one of the wrestlers I tried to emulate. That's coming up. It's of how awesome he is. It's really awesome. Then getting in there with Everett and Lee, man. Yeah. That's just, just just won that. Just won it, but you 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 can see the marks you left on ever and Lee. They don't you no one comes clean when they're wrestling you. No, that's good. It's those, it's those kicks, man. People hate those kicks. Yeah, stop damn, the, the most dangerous legs, man. man. Thanks, man. <laughs> so now, the thing that puts you on the map, the match with Kevin Steen, who Kevin Owens now, who's been That's on right. Monday Night Raw now, is going to be in Elimination Chamber against John Cena. Right. So last year, C4 Wrestling, the Warriors, you want to see for wrestling, one of the best companies over That's in right. Quebec. That's right, in Canada, it's, it's on par with all the <laughs> major U.S. Indies like that. Although it was CZW was just as good, but the AIW Ring of Honor was sort of just as good at C4 wrestling. The, the only problem is people don't know about them because they're in Canada. Let's talk about some C4s. Give them some exposure. So first, Kevin Steen. How was that match? I know you guys got standing ovation, and then like the indie wrestling people just kept picked up on it. And it's got more and more exposure. Right. Th that was actually our second match. The first one was from. 2009, maybe. You can get that. You can see that on Best of C4 Wrestling. That's right. They're both on. They're both on that. Yeah, both on that DVD. But yeah, it's pretty crazy. I feel really lucky that I got to wrestle um, Kevin as part of this. You know, is his going away tour. Yeah, going away. Like Trevor Lee was part of that. I was part of that in Canada. Yeah, that was a really cool thing. And other people on that Best of C4 from our video. We're gonna plug you C4. So El Generico on a DVD. Eddie Kingston. That's right. I don't I know don't what other matches. Um, you were in a tag. There was a tag on there you were in. Was there a tag? That's right. There, I think there's a six man with me and the Super Smash Brothers against uh, Michael Elgin and TDT. I think there was me and the Super Smash Brothers against the Young Bucks and Bucks Belmar. There was ever, those are other matches. That's, that's yeah. a lot. That's the matches that C4 has. Those great I mean, matches. I don't know if me versus Luke Harper was on there. Uh, I think it was, yeah. A lot of C4 matches. So. If you, if you see him here, I was been to coming to here to receive the mecca, I think, of in, in wrestling. It's good. It's exciting. I mean, it's nice that I get to see California. The only the only sad <laughs> part is that I only get to enjoy like LA for one day or oh, I know. several hours. I'm sure you've gotten that before, but yeah, yeah. it's really sad. I, know. I really yeah. wish I could stay here for a week. When I interview people, they're always like, I gotta get a, get a flat out. That's right. That's right. I need it actually. Yeah. yeah. So definitely. Let's talk about the main thing, the big feud with Biff, because you've gone all over the country wrestling Biff. Yep, and we're doing it again next week in Evolve. Damn, that's... Yeah, uh, Saturday I'm wrestling Biff, and the Friday before that I'm wrestling TJP, who we saw tonight. Oh, and TJ I'm, Perkins, that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I'm really excited for this match. I'm, I'm excited to get, I get to work for I Evolve. I thought it was Saturday, Sunday. Is it Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, it's Saturday, Sunday. Okay, so Friday, Sunday. He's a Friday, Saturday, so Saturday you're wrestling yeah. Busick, then that Sunday... TJ Ferguson, who's been on a roll lately, him and Gargano. I'm all over the place. I don't know what days and when. So how was it bringing that feud with Biff to this crowd, Peter G? It's great. I'm, I'm, I was happy that my first match at Peter G was something that I, I got to do before, right? So I was jumping in unknown territory. I, sort of, I, I knew Biff I knew Biff really well, so I like I, I knew it was going to be, be pretty awesome. And, what's your favorite? Was, what's your favorite match on the series? Let me interrupt you. Um, well, at C4 Wrestling again, we did a two out of three falls oh, that lasted about that was so 45 good. minutes. <laughs> so good. So that was that was a blast. You should check that out. I don't remember the name of the show. I don't know if you do. I just bought the Wild Bunch, but it's on my thing. It's the their last show this year. What was there? I don't know. It's, I know. It's uh. Was it Crossing the Lines? No. He crossing the lines, there. but it's on Spur Video. Yeah. I think it's my history. Magic of the Internet. Yeah. 
is always on my Twitter. Yeah. This is unedited. We just do whatever. We want. It's my show. I can do mostly. Yeah, really yeah. good shows. If you want to see the Super Smash Brothers, it's, it's the main place you get to, to see them do their best work. C4 to Underground, which was part of that. Underground Volume 1. Right. That's it. Let's go. I feel like the Jeopardy music. Yeah. But it's one to see for wrestling show. It's the, before the Wild Bunch. So you go to see for wrestling. You go to digital media, then see for see for wrestling, then digital media. But it's for video, all C4 stuff. That's right. So let, let's touch on CW. You have, you've had a great running day. You had the best of the best last year. That's and right. And I have had to run all the way around. So winning Friday one was prestigious this tournament. How was it winning that tournament? Was so many greats have come out of that tournament. Yeah, it, it was it was great. Um, the biggest thing about it was the tournament itself, and just just doing the three matches I did that night. They were all pretty crazy. So who'd you face again? I thought you, you say Chiji Parker round two. Yeah, the first round was a, a three way with uh, Andrew Everett and Bucks Belmar. Those are two guys. Bucks Belmar, the most interesting characters. Right. I, be, <laughs> don't, I don't know why he's not wrestling here yet, Bucks Belmar. I don't know if I'm ready for him to wrestle here. No. I don't know. No. I like his style, but he has some interesting antics. Yeah. I know that's Team Tremendous is trying to straighten him up. That's the fun part. The yeah. fun part. He's um, C4 champion right now. That's right. And Battle War champion. Yeah, Battle, Battle War, War champion. Another, and we can name all four scatters. Smash yeah. Wrestling, Alpha One, Battle War, and uh, IC, ISW. Uh, I, 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 IDBS is back. That's right. That's right. They're running good shows. So yeah, definitely yeah. Canada is doing great. It is. It is. Um, Yeah, I wrestled Bucks and Everett in the first round. Then it was CJP. Then it was John Gresham. Oh yeah, CJ Parker coming back. I was wrestling CJP right. from NXT. He, he is awesome. I feel there's like a bunch of guys, you know, sometimes they, they, they get off of TV and they just want to, you know, make some easy money. And yeah. And CJP was the complete was opposite of that. He really just wanted to have fun and do that style of wrestling, you know what I mean? So, yeah, he was, he was a joy to work with. I was talking about all those uh, Canadian companies. What about Alpha One versus Ricky Shane Page? Four. The, was it the Silver Gravity title main event right. against? Yeah, that's good. Um, that was my first time at Alpha One. First but... time in your main event. That, you got big boy <laughs> status right there. It's good. It's good. Bring my billion. Like... We just put him in the main event. There were some changes. Changes. In the card, yeah, people couldn't make it. What's yeah, yeah. what just put? What, what, I try to uh, what, build my guest up. That's what I try to do. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. It was a it was a weird match because there were like probably three four guys in the crowd that were really really. Like 100%. Oh, they 100 had Ricky, like, like, they had Ricky sign. There's, like, the Ricky section. He's so, That's right. There's a guy who has guy. a Ricky Shane Page tattoo. Yeah, he has Ricky Shane Page tattoo now. Say, don't get tattoos of your favorite pro wrestlers. <laughs> Unless, like, they're dead or something, then maybe, maybe you can think about it, but it's just, like, an... Ricky Shane Page is a cool dude, don't, don't, but don't. having him tattooed no, on you no, is just, like... It's too much. Don't. Don't. Do you remember Don Paisan, who used to wrestle in Ontario? No. What? <laughs> Uh, well, uh, there was a 16-year-old girl who had gotten Don Paisan tattooed right on her neck. What the? It was very sad. The tattoo right now is covered, but she's still she's still <laughs> cursed with a huge tattoo on her neck. It's very sad. What's the potential more promotion? I want to cover everywhere you've been. It's hot. I got to be here all night covering all promotion. Baba Bowie. That guy, Howard Stern fan. Yeah, Baba Bowie, Howard Stern's penis. That's right, that's the joke. Thank you. Okay, so let's talk about Beyond Wrestling. Good, uh, good addition to your podcast. The, 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 yeah, web show. But there's a good sorry, podcast over there. Kevin Gill's over there. He does a good podcast. So, uh, Beyond Wrestling. Another Mecca, which I think Fet yeah. is becoming a Mecca. You've gotten into some crazy stuff over, over there, right, Billy? It's big, and it's the, the way they run shows, Like I think, for... If you if you're a fan of, of live indie wrestling, it's probably the best scenario possible. It's two long stacked shows in the same day, or at least it was last time. Oh man, you versus AR Fox, I gotta give you props Thank for you that sir. match, man. That Thank match I was wrestling one of the most the, the daredevil himself, AR Fox. The guy's just crazy. Yeah, he's one of the best. He's one of the best. Here, guys I, I wanna work again. Well, I'm, I'm wrestling again, against him again. In uh, CCW in July, I think so that should be fun. And it was also um, Kitsune, who's probably my, my favorite wrestler, and Shinra against the Young Bucks. Oh, those ninjas oh, wilds, dude! Those are some cool dudes, man. Oh, yeah, really nice. There's really some really cool nice dudes facing the Young Bucks. Main eventing a show, man. Really Two nice shows. Really that's cool uh, that was cool. Kitsune. Interspecies wrestling does some good stuff. That's right. So let's get into plugs. You're on the Twitter. That's where I, how I got, got to talk to you. Yeah, Ask. man. Uh, at Speedball Billy, that's my it's my only only social media outlet that I use. But I, I try to make the most of it. So if anyone wants to 
talk to me on Twitter, I, I'll reply, I'll answer if you want to have conversations. I'm, I'm down, I'm good. Just All right. hit me up. All right, thank you for being on the show. My pleasure, sir. Make sure to like and subscribe.